So into this month's giveaway, all you gotta do is drop a like and subscribe, and then hit that bell next to the subscribe button, as well as comment down below what card you want. I'll be giving you a $10 Steam, $10 Xbox, and $10 PlayStation card. The more you're active on my channel, the higher chance you have for winning. And for an even higher chance of winning, all you gotta do is follow me on Twitter, and then hit that bell next to the follow button on Twitter, as well as share this video and at me on Twitter when you share this video. There will be only one winner for this month, and it will end on October 10th, so good luck to everybody. What is up all you amazing people, my name is Nick, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best class setup for the epic variant for the Karma 45, the Phobos. Now this is my opinion of the best class setup, this is the class setup I use every time I use the Phobos, and I do pretty well in it, so if you have any other ideas for class setups for the Phobos, please comment down below after this video. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first off, let's talk about this gameplay. So the gameplay is really, really long. It takes a whole 10 minutes of Team Deathmatch to complete because the other team left because my team was just destroying them. I felt pretty bad because people who were joining were just getting destroyed and they just left after like five deaths. And it was, it was, it was pretty bad. We were just destroying them and two people still stayed on the enemy team. So big, big congrats to them. Like they... They literally have some guts to stay in the game after getting destroyed by six people. Like, it's crazy. But enough of that. Let's get right into the class setup. So the first thing you're obviously going to need is the Karma 45 Phobos. And to get the Karma 45 Phobos, you need to hit level 50 on the mission team Orion. The Phobos has some pretty neat perks, actually. The first perk is Rushdown. It greatly reduces your spread while jumping and sliding. And then the other perk is Sharpshooter. It's ba it basically gives you a rifle barrel attachment. It just increases damage range. But since it is the Karma 45, it's gonna have some kick. So the first attachment you're gonna need is Foregrip. And the reason why I picked Foregrip is because it will help to reduce that recoil a little bit so you can still stabilize the gun more when you're aiming down sight or if you do aim down sight while using this gun with having that perfect recoil pattern you're also going to want to be able to aim down faster than your opponent so the second attachment we have here is quick draw and the reason why i pick quick draw is because quick draw is just a big necessity to me in infinite warfare because just who doesn't like aiming down faster and plus the normal ADS in Infinite Warfare feels kind of slow to me. It, it, it's always felt slow, but it's probably because I've adjusted the quick draw now, and I'm just so used to quick draw now. So I don't know. Just quick draw, it, it doesn't hurt to have. And with fast aiming and perfect recoil, you're going to also want that perfect spread, even though it already has that while you jump and slide, but you're going to also want it when you don't have to jump and slide. So the third attachment we have here, and the last, is laser sight and the reason why i pick laser sight is because when you slide or jump with that greatly reduced spread of sliding and jumping when you have laser sight it's literally like you're shooting just a straight on beam at people if you hit fire it's it's absolutely insane it's absolutely insane it really is just there's like no spread at all trust me try this class setup slide with laser sight or actually not this you don't have to try this class setup, but at least try the phobos with laser sight slide and jump while spraying without aiming down it's just it's insane it literally just goes super straight now there is no secondaries lethals and tacticals because you know me i don't like using that stuff i feel like it's very cheap when you use a lethal or tactical but it's, it's not cheap when you use a secondary just i never use secondaries i, I have never used a secondary in my life but i do have perks and the first perk we have here is a blind eye and the reason why i picked blind eye is because people love to spam wardens and vultures and all that so blind eye is just a really big necessity in this game making it where you can't be seen by any kill streak really and then the second attachment we have here is ghost and the reason why i picked ghost is because ghost is a big necessity as well because people like to spam uavs and advanced uavs and all that because they just can't take it when they can't see you on the mini map at all times so Ghost and Blind Eye together are just big necessities. The third perk we have here is Scavenger, and it should be a no-brainer why I picked Scavenger, but the reason why I picked it is because it makes where you don't have to worry about losing ammo at all. You just kill somebody, loot their dead body for ammo, and boom, you can keep going on that kill streak you were going for on the Phobos and just just destroy everybody without having to worry about losing ammo. And then the last perk we have here is Gung Ho. And the reason why I picked Gung Ho is because this gun has a greatly reduced hip spread 
when you're jumping and sliding so you're going to want to be able to run at all times because you're also going to have a laser sight so gung-ho is a big necessity to shooting while running or sliding or anything like that really just it's a big necessity of being able to have that boost of speed while you're shooting but that's pretty much it for this class setup guys if you guys do try this class setup please comment down below your thoughts on this class setup and again if you have any other ideas for a class for the epic variant phobos please comment down below but i hope you enjoyed and if you did drop a like because it helps me out a ton and if you're new to the channel subscribe for more amazing content upload every monday wednesday friday and sunday also i will pop a card to the playlist to all my other epic variant class setups right about now and i'll put in the description below if you want to check it out after this video but again that was basically pretty much it for this video guys and i hope you guys do like this class setup and again i want to stress this a lot Please comment down below your ideas for a Phobos class setup because I would really like to know. And it could be better than mine, honestly. The one that's better and I try out, I will definitely pin that comment. But I'll see you guys in my next video. So stay amazing and peace, guys.